think the words meow wolf refer to some bizarre beast? Connor Knighton tells us to think again. Santa Fe, New Mexico is the third largest art market in the country. The town is home to more than 250 art galleries and dealers, although there tends to be a common theme. Let's just say there's no shortage of options when it comes to buying turquoise jewelry or scenes of sunsets and cowboys and cacti. But five miles away from the historic town square, there's an art experience unlike any gallery you've seen before. The House of Eternal Return begins with what looks like a house, an old Victorian, but something isn't quite right inside. Step through the refrigerator and you step in to a whole different dimension. Imagine it being like sci-fi novel, but instead of reading it on the page, you can actually walk inside of it and you can explore it. It's been amazing. Like, we didn't Vince Kadlebeck really is a co-founder of Meow Wolf, the Santa Fe-based arts collective responsible for this immersive experience, a 20,000 square foot exhibition space that contains everything from a musical mushroom forest to a neon mastodon rib cage. Today, Meow Wolf is raking in millions of dollars, but when the group first formed in 2008, they were just a bunch of rowdy Santa Fe art punks. We're 20-somethings, we're punks, we're millennials, we're loud, we're grungy, you know, we're all of these characteristics that didn't fit with the Santa Fe gallery style. Shut out of the Santa Fe scene, Vince Cadlebeck and his friends decided to start throwing their own art parties and shows, filling every available space with their work. Their process of choosing a name was as haphazard as their style. We came up with it by putting a, a bunch of words in one hat and a bunch of words in another hat, and then just kind of like pulling words out and connecting them. And Meow Wolf was the one that we settled on. So it could have just as easily been like Meow Chair or exactly. like, like <laughs> yeah. Light Bulb Wolf or something. Right, exactly. Eventually, Meow Wolf started to make a name for themselves in Santa Fe. Their temporary exhibitions were so popular, the group decided they needed a bigger, more permanent space. They found an abandoned bowling alley that just might do the trick, but they didn't have enough money to buy it. Luckily, there was one guy in town who did. So we created sort of like a back of the napkin business plan and we presented it to George R. R. Martin, the author of Game of Thrones. Yes, the creator of Game of Thrones bought a bowling alley. The House of Eternal Return has become one of Santa Fe's most popular attractions. It's art for people who might not otherwise want to go to an art gallery. You don't get a map here. Is it important to you that there's not a right or wrong way to go about this? It's so important. I mean, giving audiences the opportunity to be scientists, to be explorers, to discover things on their own, that's what creates personal experience. Meow Wolf has also been creating jobs. The group now employs more than 300 full-time artists who are working on crafting pieces for new Meow Wolf installations. The group is opening a space in Las Vegas next year and in Denver in 2021. Do you feel lucky that you get to, to work in art full time and, and have that as your feel main job? I feel incredibly lucky. Before this job, I was a full time artist during the day and full time server and bartender in the evenings. So never did I think I would have a salary position getting to create beautiful art with a team of other creative people. For New Mexico creatives like Alana Schwartz and Mikey Ray, a gig with Meow Wolf offers a rare bit of artistic stability. It offers health insurance. I feel um, a chill in my spine to think I have dental. <laughs> you know? This kind of team effort does mean sacrificing some individual glory. But in exchange, the group has been able to create an experience that is, quite literally, larger than any one person. We are definitely producing work that no single person could produce on their own and that no single person could even imagine producing on their own. And so we empower each other. I mean, we're, we're Meow Wolf, you know? We're, we're channeling a beast 
known as Meow Wolf. You know, that's, that's the artist.